Alright folks, today we are making this amazing looking chopped up Italian sandwich, a viral social media hit of 2023. It's time to grill. Let's get this video started with a diced red onion. We only need half of this size, so if you have smaller red onions just take a whole one. And of course, as always, you will find the whole list of ingredients inside the video description. Make sure to check it out. It's technically the idea of that recipe to make a sandwich completely chopped up on your cutting board. This does not make sense for me. So I decided to dice the onions first and slice the tomato before starting with the sandwich stuffing. You will need Italian specialities. I used mortadella. two different kind of Italian pepperoni. Feel free to use your favorite Italian sausages and hams and everything that you like for the sandwich. You are completely flexible and there are many versions possible. I used four different. So after the mortadella, two parts of Italian pepperoni, we are also using prosciutto crudo. Now it's the first time to take your knife and work through this. After cutting this into more or less smaller pieces, add the next ingredients. We are using olives, which are flavored with tomato, the sliced tomatoes and pepperoncini. Take the knife again and work through this again and again. This is the fun part. It's really cool and I was really surprised how big the amount of sandwich stuffing is after you added all ingredients. Of course cheese is missing there. We are using parmesan and mozzarella cheese today. Of course don't forget the red onions, due to the fact that these are already cut in smaller pieces, it's just easy enough to add these at that step of the cutting process. Work through this again with your knife, give it a good mix. As I mentioned in the title, this one was a viral social media hit last year and I still had this on my bucket list. Normally the idea is, as I said, to get this done completely on the cutting board. I decided to switch into a bowl at this step and part of the process added balsamico bianco which is an italian vinegar and one spoon of mayonnaise and then you will need some seasoning italian herb seasoning salt and pepper works good but my own mixture terrano meersalz which means italian herb seasoning will do a better job it's salt and dried herbs, oregano, tomato and olives. And this is the perfect combination to go with this sandwich stuffing. There it is, give it a good mix. You might adjust a little bit the amount of mayonnaise and vinegar to your personal taste, but this is up to you. Now it's important for me to have a nice ratio between bread and stuffing, so I decided to take these tiny ciabatta breads. I bake them half the baking time, which is approximately 8 to 10 minutes, is the whole time. So I just throw them on the grill in direct heat, 200 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 390 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I open these in the middle of the cooking process at the stuffing and place them back on the grill. Heating this up is a big improvement to the original recipe for me. The original recipe also uses lettuce. This is why I skipped the lettuce thing. Place back on the grill for another 3 or 4 minutes and we will end up with nice, warm and great looking Italian chopped up sandwiches. Love it. Can't wait to hear your thoughts about this. And of course, as always, I'm gonna give this a shot right now. This is so delicious, can be done for a lot of people and I really like the idea of the preparation. Don't forget to like and leave me a comment. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I would really appreciate if you could help me some more with the 0815 Barbecue International channel and grow this delicious stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.